Upon the escape of Darno and Ukar from the city of Tor, Atea, white queen of the yellow-skinned giants, condemns Tarzan and O'Rourke to slavery in the jewel pits. Tarzan conceives the idea of a mutiny among the pit slaves and approaches a Raptorian prisoner with his plan. In the palace, Wong Tai finds Jeanette Burton alone in the quarters of Atea and agrees to use his influence with the queen against her decision to force Jeanette to become the mate of Mungo, chief of Torian warriors. Wong Tai insists, however, that in return, Jeanette must find and give to him the key to Atea's treasure cave. As they are about to separate, Wong Tai's retreat to the corridor is cut off by the unexpected return of Atea and her women. Dr. Wong, you mustn't be found here at Atea's chamber. She'll suspect that we've been talking. May sick as there is and deep throated monks curse that woman unceasingly and her unexpected comings and goings. I shall leave by the women's quarters in the corridor. No, 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 not that way. You'll meet some of her women. Then uh, to the antechamber. But, but how will you explain to her? You remain here. Say to her that you could not find the things you were sent for. I shall be waiting her in the anteroom. Oh, hurry, Dr. Wong, hurry. Calm yourself, Jeanette. You must not permit Athea to find you in this state of agitation. Leave everything to me and remember the key. Yes, yes. Hurry, please. <laughs> the all-conquering determination to acquire vast riches in a not clearly defined manner is likely to precipitate this humble person into a situation wherein he may lose his honorable head. Anduka, Anuluk Tumaruk, can you remain here? You others go. Go now, Tanya. Find the woman, Jeanette Burton, and... Ah, oh, Wang Tai. What seek you here, my friend? This person awaits the pleasure of the unapproachable one and comes You to... have seen and spoken to Jeanette Burton? Jeanette? Is she not with your women? I have been here waiting only a moment. Go, Tanya. Find her and bring her to me. Why are you here, Wang Tai? This person comes to confer with the resplendent one on the combat between Mungo and Tarzan. What about it? A little suggestion, my friend. A suggestion... Come to the point, Wang Tai. I shall speak to a narrow edge. The thought was born in the despicable mind of this person that were the combat to take place before the recapture of Lieutenant Dano and Uka... The illustrious one would lose the pleasure of witnessing their reaction to the death of their friend and companion. Tell me, Wang Tai, why are you so deeply interested in this combat? My interest lies only in the pleasure of my queen. Hmm. I wonder. Ah, oh, Jeanette Burton, at last you are here. Where have you been? Why did you not return to the baths with the scent and oils? Because I've just this moment found the scent. It is fittingly written, heaven-born. Speak when you are spoken to, Wong Tai. You have not been in this room, Jeanette Burton, with Wong Tai? This is the first time I've been in this room today, Atea. If I thought that you two were... It is not ineptly written, O oh daughter of Tor, that if there be no faith in our words, of what use are they? Silence. Go, Jeanette Burton. Prepare yourself to accompany me. Wang Tai, you will command Mungo, in my name, to prepare the royal elephants and guard. We go to inspect the slaves of the jewel pit. In a large clearing deep in the jungle... The stockaded camp of the Torian patrol lies drowsing in the cool forest twilight, which in equatorial Africa comes and passes like the dropping of a sable velvet curtain. In swiftly darkening green ramparts, the forest rises above the heads of Darno and Uka as they creep stealthily toward a shadowy clump of bushes at the edge of the clearing. These bushes, Darno, are on the edge of the clearing. Just beyond is the stockade surrounding the camp. We wait here for darkness. And the elephants? They are staked in a line just inside the gate. Mm. Mais dites-moi, Uka, 
how are we to get inside and out again with an elephant? We will climb the stockade at this point. Once inside, we go directly to the gate and quiet the guard. There is never more than one. Oh, my friend, I fear we have spent a day and night in finding this camp for nothing. What you propose is almost the impossible for anyone but Tarzan, and he is not here to do it. It is our only chance, Dono. We must take it. When we have eliminated the guard, we will open the gate, mount the first elephant in line, and ride away. It will not be difficult. Not difficult? Non de non. Et puis, what then? And then, why, we ride off to Rotor. Leaving the elephants there for them to ride after us, eh? Would it not be wiser to cut them all loose and drive them out before us? <laughs> A good idea, Dono. I am afraid it could arouse every Torian in camp. Elephants, a herd of them, do not travel silently. We will make noise enough with the one. Bien, bien. It was only a suggestion. It will be dark in a few moments. Then we must move quickly. We will not have much time between darkness and moonrise. And the fires inside the stockade? They light up the entire enclosure. There is only one fire in the center. You can see the reflection against the trees. If we remain close to the inside of the stockade, we will not be seen. Why, then, do we not climb the fence at the point where the elephants are held? Would it not save time? Yes, but it would also frighten the beasts and rouse the patrol. Listen. The men are leaving the fire. Soon they will be asleep. All but the guard at the gate. Come. It is time. Ah, this fence. It is high, mon vieux. It will not be so easy to climb. Can you hold my weight on your shoulders? Uh, bien, I can try. I shall brace my back against the stockade. Comme ça. Now, climb up. Mais nom de mille chien. The man is like, like a horse. Hold up your hand, Dono. I will pull you up. Ah, bien. So, oh. now, look. The fire is deserted. Burning low. The patrol is already asleep under that long shelter in the center of the stockade. Mais voyez. Uka, it is a bivouac. Those spears standing upright before the shelter and reflecting the light of the fire. Each spear denotes a man, Dono. They are placed in the ground at the sleeper's head. Here, I will let you down. Eh bien. Entendu. Ah, now. Hasten, Uka. Silence. Now... Follow me closely along the wall. At the first sound, drop flat to the ground. Come. In the jewel pits of Tor... Tarzan and O'Rourke, with their companion slaves, labor unceasingly in the sweltering heat of a noonday sun. <coughs> Behind the lines of prisoners, the long, cruel lashes of the guards curl and snap viciously at straining backs. As the guard behind Tarzan moves toward another group, the ape-man sidles closer to O'Rourke. I've just been talking to Kai Luke, O'Rourke. And what did the Ratorian fellow have to report? Did he talk with the others? Yes, last night just before we were chained to our box. How did they take to the idea? Are they willing to stand by us? Every one, if I can free them. Ah, uh, hey, it's an impossible task, my friend. You might break loose yourself and maybe get me out of them ankle chains, but all of them... Leave that to me. When the time comes, I'll break out of my bunk chains and let you out. While I'm taking care of the guard in our quarters, you'll get the key that hangs beside the door. Sure. Know what? Something's going on up there by the gates. Bigari, it's out there, and Jeanette, and an elephant. At the call of the trumpets, the great gates at the entrance to the jewel pit swing open, and led by Mungo, proudly seated astride the neck of an elephant, a brilliant cavalcade moves into the enclosure. In a royal howdah strapped to the broad back of a huge animal, Atea, with Jeanette beside her, gazes haughtily down upon the staring slaves and guards. Behind the leading elephants are half a score of others bearing Wong Tai and several nobles of Atea's court. 
No, what the devil? Can't the woman leave us in peace for a few minutes? Listen, O'Rock. Here comes Mungo with the chief of slaves. They're after us, O'Rock. Ah, oh, sure, and you needn't be telling me that. The woman has some devilment in her mind for us. I can see it in her eyes. Aruk, Aruk, la la na luk tazan la uruk tum banu. The tazan uruk, you come. Where do we go, Mungo? Atea, she won't talk you and no uruk. You come. Well, my Tarzan, king of the apes, and you, O'Rourke, how do you like the jewel pits of Tor? I have no complaint to make. Sure, and it is a pleasure to be working for you. <laughs> By the whip marks on your back, O'Rourke, it must be a great pleasure. Oh, By the holy St. Patrick, if you're going to... What do you to want, I'll tell you? We have come to inspect the pits, Tarzan of the apes, and to tell you that the day for your combat with Mungo has been set... It will be held. Look out! That elephant! In the midst of Atea's speech, the elephant upon which she and Jeanette are mounted suddenly lifts his trunk high. Trumpeting shrilly, the huge beast whirls. Gathering speed with each great stride, the brute heads directly toward one of the deep open pits. 